guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another haul. It is a small haul and it is a specialized haul or else I would probably wait and do it later when I have accumulated more books. But this weekend I went up to Nashville for the Renaissance Fair with my fiance Justin and we also went to Parnassus which is the bookstore that's owned by Ann Patchett who I think most of you know is my favorite author and no she wasn't there I didn't get to meet her but I did get, get to talk to some of her uh, booksellers who were fantastic and it was really funny because I got to talking to the woman at the checkout counter and um, I was saying, yeah, I really love Ann Patchett, obviously. And I said, she's my favorite author. I've read all of her fiction. She was like, oh, you have? She was like, have you read Taft? And I was like, yeah, I just read that one. And she was like, oh. And she was really taken back because apparently most people who say they've read all of her fiction have not read Taft. So I don't feel so bad that it was the last one that I read because apparently some people don't even realize they haven't read it. So on to what I actually picked up at the bookstore. We were going to go up and go to the Sarah J Moss signing on Friday. Unfortunately, we did not make it up there in time and so I didn't get to go to that. And so I decided not to buy her book there after all since they were signed copies but it, was, it really wasn't the same thing and I know I'm not going to get to it right away so I decided to just wait until I'm ready to read it and then buy it. So responsible book buying habits people. I think I might actually be acquiring them. Although the first book that I'm going to show you proves that that is not in fact the case. Uh, the first one is The Buried Giant and I think we all know I have this book. I received an art copy of it I think in January and I've already read this book but a autograph copy so that's really cool. Um, I believe this was one of the first edition club books for Parnassus, but yes, signed. Um, but that wasn't even the main reason I picked it up. I just, I had, I had seen it on people's channels who actually bought the hardcover, but when you see it in person and you see just how pretty this book is, it's just, I, I had to have it. And Justin was like, oh, you can get rid of your other copy of it. And I was like, no, because it's the first art copy of a book I ever received. And it's an art copy of a kind of cool book that I really enjoyed. So, I'll be keeping that one too because apparently I am also a hoarder. But yeah, it has like the black pages and underneath the cover is really pretty too. It's got, um, it's like marbled sort of, the spine is sort of marbled. <sighs> it's so pretty. I just, this is one of the prettiest books that I have seen in a long time. And so I decided that I wanted to go ahead and pick that up, even if I do already own it. Then the other two books that I personally picked up are Ann Patchett books and one of the main reasons that I did was because if you buy a book of hers in the store they are all signed and yes I would love to meet her and have it personally signed and maybe one day I will but I was really excited to get a book of hers that is signed. I first picked up a book that I do not have and I was wanting to purchase and I knew going in that this was going to be the book of hers that I did purchase and that is This is the Story of a Happy Marriage. Um, Patty over at I Smell Books has read this and said great things about it and I'm really excited to get to it because now that I've read all of her fiction I'm going to embark on reading her nonfiction works and I think many of you also know that I am getting married later this year so I think that this is a great read for this year. The next one I picked up I own a copy of and technically I should probably send it back to the person who let me borrow it something like seven years ago, but I probably will not be doing that. It has sentimental value now, but I got this beautiful copy of The Bel Canto, which is also signed by Anne. Let me find page. So, yes. This is my favorite book by her, and so I thought it only fitting that I should get a signed copy of it. And it's so pretty. Like, this looks completely different from my edition, and I love it. It's shiny and fun. Anyways, um, we did get one other book. I do not have it to show because Justin is on night shift and he has the book with him at work and that is The Gollum and the Genie and it looks like this. He actually was back in the sci-fi fantasy section and he was saying, oh, this book sounds really good. And I was like, what book is it? And he held it up and I was like, I've heard great things about that and it's on my TBR too so you should buy it and so we got that one too. 
it's fun when he picks out books that I also want to read. So, yes, they didn't have the coffee mugs when I was in there, which was kind of disappointing. She felt really bad because I was like, oh, you don't have the coffee mugs? And she was like, we didn't get an order in in time for Mother's Day. So, no, we don't have them. They apparently sold out on Indie Bookstore Day, which... You know, this won't be the last time that I'm up there, but I do want to get a coffee mug because after I got my Malaprops one, I now feel like every bookstore I go to, I'm going to collect a coffee mug from there. So, I need another coffee mug, like I need a hole in the head. But, I don't know. I'm such a collector, such a hoarder, whatever you want to say it is. <laughs> Anyways, I am full on rambling now. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!